Hi mga Marcies, welcome back to my channel. Before we were doing fitness today, we're also going to talk about food and health and my weight loss journey. So for me, when I gave birth to my third baby girl last year, March 17, 2020, I was a whopping 185 pounds, my heaviest ever. I was just eating like crazy when I found out I was pregnant at six months. I was irregular, kaya hindi ko alam. Kaya nung nalaman ko, I was having a baby, I said, I'm gonna enjoy the last three months of my pregnancy by just relaxing and eating and just living life. And I did so, but I gained so much weight. So yun nga, pagkatapos kong mga anak, March 17 with my bouncing baby girl, Rosie, I wanted to start my weight loss journey by working out. So I did Zumba classes, fitness classes with Jaden now at our studio. I also tried to wear things that would help me regain my shape again. So I would wear like waist slimming corsets and uh, just wear things that are pretty to make me feel good and confident. Aside from that, I realized that at my age and after having kids, losing weight isn't as easy as before. I've tried all of those diets before and they didn't work and of course I gained it all back. And so after giving birth this time around, I wanted to do it the healthier way. However, because I was breastfeeding, I felt I had to eat everything that I wanted to because I needed to to sustain the milk supply. So I did that for a while and then I got back, back into eating healthier. So since then, 185 pounds, I'm down 50 pounds and I have 10 more to go back to my pre-baby weight, if you can do the math. Uh, the journey has been fun, but of course, a daily struggle. Dahil masarap akong kumain, masarap magluto ang aking pamilya. And every time we eat, it's a family bonding and um, it's just, a, it's just a fun experience for all of us. We eat when we're happy, when we're bored, and when we're sad, which is actually not the right thing to do. Better yun nga. We're trying to work on that and of course, eat healthier, especially now that we're aging because it's not as easy as it was before. Of course, I am a working mom and I'm sure a lot of you guys are also, you have that stress, so all of that added on. You don't think about the calories anymore and you kind of just want to have fun because you're at the home, you're quarantined. So, I'm sure you can relate. But I learned that eating is actually more on 80% what you intake um, compared to the fitness, which is 20%. So if you have both of that, then you're good to go for your weight loss journey. But before we move on to our topic for today, please watch until the end because we have some great giveaways for you guys. So today I'm sharing with you guys food that are high in vitamin D. But before we get into that, let me tell you first what vitamin D is and why we need it in our body. Vitamin D helps regulate the amount of calcium and phosphate in the body. These nutrients are needed to keep our bones, our teeth, and our muscles healthy. Based on studies, sabi nila, vitamin D3 also lessens the chance of getting a severe respiratory infection by as much as 50%. Vitamin D is sometimes called the sunshine vitamin because it's produced in our skin in response to sunlight. With our new normal setup, I know it's very important to take vitamin D as we may have been indoors more than usual this year. And as declared by Pag-asa, we are now at our rainy season, so limited source of sunlight na tayo, and of course, unpredictable weather. May mga typhoon, may mga bahat, mga naman yan. So with that, let me share with you these foods that are high in vitamin D. Let's get started. First one is oily fish. They can be salmon, sardines, herring, and mackerel. Oily fatty fish is a great source of not only omega-3 fatty acids, but also vitamin D3. One serving of fatty fish can get you close to hitting your daily D needs. Second, beef liver. Beef liver contains vitamin D, but it's also high in cholesterol, so be careful. A cooked 2.5 ounce serving of beef liver has 36 IU of vitamin D. Up third is egg yolks. Just one egg yolk from a large egg provides 36.7 IU of vitamin D. Starting your day with two eggs sets you out on the right nutritional foot with healthy fat and protein to keep you full and give you sustained energy as well as a dose of vitamin D. Fourth, mushrooms. Mushrooms are top of the list of food sources of vitamin D for those who can't and don't eat animal products as they are naturally rich in D2. 100 grams of mushrooms, slightly more than one cup before they're sliced, provides 8 IU of vitamin D. Mushrooms are a low-fat, low-calorie food, so just at 22 calories, you can easily fit multiple servings in your menu to help you towards your daily dose. And last but not the least, number five, 
fortified foods, such as soy milk, yogurt, orange juice, and breakfast cereal. Fortified foods are sort of like a combination of food and dietary supplements. Essentially, they are regular foods with added vitamins and minerals during processing. You've probably come across this if you've ever seen milk or cereal that has that saying, it says fortified or something like that. Although the amount of vitamin D in each fortified food isn't as high as it is, say, in salmon, they also add up to boost your overall vitamin D levels. So, the question is, how much vitamin D do we need? From about late March to early April to the end of May, we should be able to make all of the vitamin D we need from sunlight. Children from age one, like Rosie, and adults need 10 micrograms of vitamin D a day. This includes pregnant women, breastfeeding women like me, and people at risk from vitamin D deficiency. During the rainy season, we need to get our vitamin D from our diet because the sun is not strong enough for the body to make vitamin D. But since it's difficult for us to get enough vitamin D from food alone, for me, I take Radiant C. It has 200 IU or 5 MCG of vitamin D3. As you've seen in my posts and my stories, I take this every day to make sure that I have my daily dose of vitamin D3. Listen up, it also has these other amazing things. It contains six other powerful ingredients, which are calcium ascorbate or alkaline vitamin C, calcium carbonate, NAC, quercetin, selenium, and our favorite beauty ingredient, collagen. Yan pamba beauty yan. Great news because Radiant C will be having a 20% off sale. It'll be 9 pesos per capsule and 264 pesos per box of 30 capsules from June 18 to 20 and June 26 to 30, 2021. Regular SRP is 11 pesos per capsule and 330 pesos per box in a box of 30s. Exclusively available at any Watson store and Shop SM. So there you go. As I mentioned before, we have a giveaway. Today we'll be giving away gift packs from Radiant C and Regine Tolentino Atelier. We'll be giving away five gift packs from Radiant C and five prizes from Regine Tolentino Atelier. These are our bestseller face masks. So we have different designs and we'll be sending them out. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And of course, to my social media accounts, as well as the Radiant C, TikTok, Facebook, and IG. Once again, that's Radiance C. Now, all you have to do is comment below with how you get your vitamin D or what your source of vitamin D is. It's that simple. Good luck to you guys. I'd also love it if you guys could also comment below what other topics you would like to see on my channel. So please be feel free to share anything or ask anything that you want down below. There you have it. See you again next time for more videos right here on my channel. Take care, Mama Marcy's.